Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today we will show you how to generate images, texts and even convert video and audio files to articles using artificial intelligence. I just generated an entire article about steampunk architecture with images and texts exclusively with AI and it took me overall about 10 minutes. Now I'll show you how you can do that yourself. I used an AI engine and we already added compatibility with this free WordPress plugin to all our recent themes. You can find it on the WordPress site section Plugins. I already have it installed on my website. It appears as a separate item in your menu. In its dashboard, you can see the overall information about the author's plugins and apps. But we are more interested in the AI engine menu. Let's quickly review it. It has several important sections. On the top of your screen, you will have content, images, playground and settings modules. We are in the settings module right now. On the right side, we have our costs that we pay to open AI. Pay attention that I paid just 66 cents for 33 images and less than 1 cent for tons of text. So it is almost nothing compared to what you pay to a copywriter and designer. On the left side we have switchers for some modules that I'll show you later. Chatbox, Generator, Playground, Assistant, Fine Tuning, some premium add-ons, Moderation and Audio add-on. In the next tab we have detailed settings for the chatbot widget. I'll also show you how to edit and customize it. In the discussion tab you can see all the GPT chats on your site. In the audio tab you can add an audio file and prompt and get the entire text in any language. In the settings tab, you need to connect your OpenAI account by entering the API key. You can also connect your Microsoft Azure as well. And there are some other additional settings. The last tab is license. Here you can purchase the premium version of AI Engine. I'll use a free one. So these were our settings. Playground is the place where you can interact with different AI models. In the center you have the main interaction screen, on the left side you have a set of different AI templates like default, translation, SEO, helper, etc. On the right side you can customize settings like AI model, temperature, the level of randomness, max number of tokens you would like to use and the estimation costs. If you click on the template, it will show you some pre-made prompts. You can check them, customize them. Also, you can enable the edit mode. It will allow you to customize, delete or save new templates for future use. The next module is images. It has a similar interface templates on the left side and the main console in the middle. Let's ask it to generate images of London as it was a city in Mordor from the Lord of the Rings. And let's ask for three images and click generate images. It may take some time so be patient. Ok, we got three images. This one looks pretty good. Here we can navigate and change attributes. Now let's ask AI to give us images of some other cities, for example New York in Mordor. Ok, nice, we have New York. Now let's jump to another part of the world and ask for a Beijing. Since we have the continuous switcher enabled, images are simply added below. And finally, let's do one from Africa, for example Cairo. Ok, nice. 
Now let's save those images that we like and will further use. From London, I will use this one. Click Add to Library. From New York, we'll use this one. Pay attention, it saves the attributes from our last request. In our case, it's Cairo. So make sure to then chant them. OK, we have our images for our article. We can move on to the next generator. On the left side, we can add the topic. Let's ask to write some interesting article about using Mordor architecture in modern cities. Looks like I have typo here, but let's keep it as is and see what it gives us. In the middle we have our main section and on the right side we have our parameters. We can choose the language and writing style. Let's go with the creative style and humorous tone. Post type post, temperature 0 0.8, limit of tokens 2000, model turbo. We can also customize the prompts, macroses for different sections, title, content, excerpt, etc. And finally, we have our costs here. OK, we are ready to generate the content. It will take some time for AI to generate our article. On the top of your screen, you can see that now we are working with a single post mode. But it also has a bulk generation mode, which allows you to create multiple posts at the same time. So you can basically fill your blog in with content in just a couple of clicks. OK, the AI just generated the title, sections, content and excerpt based on the topic we gave it. Since we gave it a bit wrong, let's add some new sections and then we'll ask to generate it again. I will add a section Mordor Architecture in London and I will do the same for the rest of the cities that we generated. And then click Generate Content again. It will take some time for AI to edit the article with these new entries. OK, we have our updated content with new sections and finally, let's generate our excerpt. OK, it's here and now we can convert it to the article. It turns into a draft post and we can go ahead and edit it. It opens in the classic editor, but we can convert it to blocks with no problem. Now on the right side I will change the category to AI generated and set a featured image. And now I'll add the images that we just generated. In Gutenberg, I use a forward slash and type in the block name image. Then choose the image from the media library and position it in the center. And let's do the same for the remaining three cities. Again, don't forget to change the attributes of the images. Alternative text, title and caption. OK, our article is ready with wrong captions though. 
but I will keep them. The AI Engine plugin also offers its own blocks for Gutenberg. Let's do forward slash AI. You will find five blocks, form fields, output, container, submit and a full AI chatbot. Let's paste the chatbot and publish our article. Good, now we can check it. Ok, our article is here and it looks nice. At the end of the article we have an AI chat box. We can type in some questions, for example, let's ask something related to the article. And in 4 seconds we receive the answer about the Mordor architecture in 2023. Now let's return to our dashboard and go to settings. I will show you the final module of the day, the audio converter. I will need an audio file. Let's quickly find an mp4 to mp3 converter, cause I have a video file. Ok, this one looks legitimate. I will upload my video file and convert it to mp3. Ok, now I can download it. I will open my media library. And then simply drag and drop my audio file. Ok, let's copy the file location link. And paste it to the audio to text converter. We can add a prompt here. And if the audio is in foreign language, we can immediately translate it to English. Click transcribe. And here we go. We have a full transcript of our audio file. We can copy and create an article with it. So that's how the AI engine works. Now it's interesting how much it costs us. As we can see, in April I spent 91 cents. I got 45 images and plenty of unique texts. How much would it cost me if I hired a professional copywriter and a graphic designer? Probably much more than that. I want to emphasize that in order to utilize these features, you need to have an OpenAI account. Navigate Settings and click on the link below. It will lead you to the OpenAI site where you can log in or create a new account and then you can generate your personal token and you will need to enter it in your settings. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials.